Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're here giving the entire Grover fam fam a little transformation because in the next episode, we're going to experience a tiny little time lapse of probably two to three months, but I'm thinking more closer to the two month range because three months is just way too far. But let me tell you, a lot has happened in those two months. A lot has happened and also like nothing at all. <laughs> it's kind of a weird in-between phase, which we will get into in the next episode. But first, I want to start with our beloved Jacob Grover. He is aging so fast he's getting so big and i'm so excited for this next phase of his life where he embraces a brotherhood he's literally going to be a big brother and i cannot wait to see it it's kind of funny because i've been trying to film this voiceover like 552 times i don't know what my problem is <laughs> but when i was trying to film it one of the first times i came to the realization that jacob is literally the only infant i've ever played with since infants have been released that is crazy to me like ever since they become a thing I'm just more careful about my sons having kids because there's such a huge responsibility now versus before it was like a three day commitment. And now it's like their development as infants affects the rest of their lives. I don't know. Maybe that's just me reading into it too much, but like I, it really is like that for me. So I'm so excited to see what his little brother or sister is going to look like and finally play with another infant because I haven't really had a big chance to do that. So with Jacob now being a child, I'm thinking he's probably maybe like six, five or six. I wanted his outfits, his wardrobe to capture that because I feel like sometimes there's this really harsh in between or not even an in between, but it's either or like your kid looks like a child or they look like they're damn near going to be a preteen. And I want to show that progression, but I want to do it slowly. So in the beginning, you're going to notice that he's wearing a lot of like cartoony clothes, you know, animals on his on his t-shirts and mismatched socks and things like that also yes he did knock out his two front teeth <laughs> while trying to learn how to ride a bicycle thanks eric for not watching him but i'm serious he really did so he will need braces later but we're gonna see a progression with him he's gonna look very very young in the beginning of his childhood and then towards the end since we don't have preteens in the sims 4 <clears throat> he's gonna look more like a tween towards the end of it and i'm so freaking excited to see so speaking of eric y'all i'm telling you this man is really embracing fatherhood he has been taking his job as a landscaper so seriously he's been thinking outside of the box he's been thinking of how maybe he could start up his own landscaping business and because it is such a heavy duty job his physique is changing he is getting more muscular he's getting more toned and fit and also i had to throw in the height slider in there because i feel like eric is very tall he's like super duper tall i feel like ayla's probably like five eight ish five seven i feel like she also is very tall so i think inherently like jacob's going to be super tall too but i feel like eric's probably around like six four six five like he's a tall boy like he's tall so i wanted to play with that a little bit too and this outfit here is probably one of my favorites I absolutely am obsessed with the jeans that I recently downloaded. I don't know who they're by. I think they're, yeah, oh, they're by Adrian Pastel. Pastel? Pastel? Yeah, I love Adrian. Like, seriously, all, like, all of my CC comes from them. So he's wearing, like, a little landscaper getup, and I feel like this is what he goes to work in. <laughs> so I wanted to give him a little dirt on his nose, too, because he is no longer playing dirty. He's just getting his hands dirty in the best way possible by being a hard worker. He's really trying to rack in the simoleon so that him and Ayla can afford a bigger home because of the baby on the way where they live currently it's just not big enough for all like four of them I can't even believe they're gonna be a family of four so he's thinking very seriously of how he can start pulling in the simoleons he recently just got a promotion a little bonus of 500 like you know 500 dollars wasn't a lot it's not gonna get them a house so I'm really happy to see that he is on the straight and narrow like he's trying to be a better guy he's trying to be a better dad and in case you guys are curious no he hasn't proposed to pay payla why do i do that <laughs> i always i always say payla or like uh, the other day i said what was like i was like airy i don't know for some reason perry and ayla i always like interchange their names it's freaking strange to me but I always do and I don't know why but yeah he hasn't proposed just yet and I don't know what the hang-up is like he was so, so gung-ho about it like not that long ago and then he's just had the ring in his drawer and he's just been kind of waiting maybe for the perfect moment who knows what what his reason is but I'm definitely excited to see what the future holds for them I'm a little nervous of course because this is Eric and Ayla we're talking about here but of course like I wish nothing but the best for them and their growing family but I just I just know how I am and I just know how I like to play so I just I don't know is it gonna be happy ever after maybe maybe not we'll have to see 
speaking of which we're actually nearing the end of season one of growing with the growers i don't know how many more episodes we have in this season and i don't know how it's going to end just yet but i'm excited for season two like i'm so freaking excited to see what the rest of this story has in store for us uh also i did change the shape of eric's nipples i don't know i just really wanted to get personal with his like his 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 look today so i decided to do that and he still has back hair i'm not i'm not removing that the, the, the boy is a hairy beast and that's fine so um i think it was jenny what was it what was the name jenny smith 115 they had said in the previous episode that they think ayla needed a makeover and that's kind of what inspired me to make over everybody because it's true ayla's literally looked the same since day one like she's looked exactly the same and i think one of the biggest reasons is it's her hair it's so hard to find hair that like looks like the hair from um from growing together it sucks because i want to show the progression of her hair growing out but i can't like i just there's no other hairstyle there's no in between so i decided to give her this hair that reminds me so much of june like so 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 much and it's crazy full circle and i think it's i think it's a good hair because it could just be that she's been growing it out lately and you know she has very 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 tight curls and maybe she just wanted to relax it for a little bit try something new something um that was easier to manage perhaps because you know she's pregnant and uh, she just doesn't she just doesn't want to have to fuss with it and so that's what her wardrobe is all about just comfy not so casual I would definitely say she's in her soft girl area she's starting to get a little more like fashiony I guess she's always been a very casual sim she's always loved her like sneakers and her leggings and her big baggy sweatshirts like that's just been her thing forever even like when she was in high school but I feel like with her pregnancy it, it's just something about this pregnancy is making her feel beautiful and just like really feminine and um she wanted to capture that with her her clothing so i really love like this little baby doll I guess, I guess it's like a baby doll nightgown i thought that was really pretty and delicate and soft i recently did a huge like cc shop and so like i have a ton of clothes that i am currently currently wanting to play around with and so if there's anything that you see here that you want just let me know in the comments down below and i'll try to find it for you i'm not gonna link everything because let me tell you it would take literally a year and a half for me to link everything um but if there is anything that you're dying to get your hands on I'll try to find it for you and uh, I'll give you the link in the description but yeah I'm excited you guys I am nervous for the next episode but I'm excited too because I just my attachment with this family is so real I don't know what it is about them they're just so beautiful and I just I don't know even though like their love story is kind of just you know a little all over the place I'm still really happy for Eric and Ela. I'm also really missing Kyle right now I know that he's doing great um there is some some stuff to share there but i'll do that in a different video in a different episode uh but out of all the outfits let me just go back to this out of all the outfits i gave ayla i think this one's my favorite like i love this swimwear ensemble for some reason like even though she isn't like showing a hell of a lot for being like two months pregnant you can kind of see her belly like you can see her belly just a little bit like a slight little peek here and i just think it's so cute i can't wait to see her pregnant that that reminds me we have to schedule like appointments with the obstetrician we got to go get an ultrasound <laughs> we still have to tell our dad <laughs> oh boy we've got a lot to do y'all and we don't have very much more time to do it because before we know it this baby's gonna be here and we are so underprepared it's ridiculous but anyways i'm just wrapping up um Ayla's little makeover with you know a little hot weather wear outfit and a little a little winter wear i basically just redid her entire catalog i think i did it with everybody it wasn't my intention at first but i was like you know what we're here might as well might as well just complete all of them and give them brand new looks especially because you know we're going into a new era so anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys what if we run out of time and second chances, empty-handed?